In this short video, we are going to show you how to control your snapping points within the RAM modeler. Now, by default, the program will automatically be able to snap to any grid intersections or member ends whenever you are creating any geometry on grid. For example, if I wanted to create some steel columns on grid, I can just select any grid intersection. If I wanted to create any beams on grid, I can click to columns automatically. I can click to grid intersections. And what you're also going to notice is that you can click at beam ends automatically as a snapping point. Now, what if you want to control your snapping points or understand what's going to be included as a snapping point? What we're going to do is go up to the options menu and we're going to say set snap points. Now here on your current layout is all the different items that can be used as a snapping point. So you can see that grids, columns, beams, and wall ends are automatically included. Once you get more geometry and information into your model, you can also include things like slabs and loads and deck information as snapping points. Now you can turn off any of these items if it makes modeling your particular geometry a little bit more complicated. In addition to that, we also have something called a reference layout type. So let me go ahead and show you how to control that. What we're going to do is return to our options menu and select reference layout types. Now any of the other layouts in your structure can be used as a reference floor layout. So for this particular model on the floor below, I happen to have a, an opening that I'm going to frame out between grid lines D and E. Now I've already placed the opening exactly where I want it on the floor below and on this floor I'm going to expect it in the same exact location. Well instead of having to recreate that geometry here I can use the floor below as a reference point for creating this geometry. So say for example I want to see I'm on the roof layout right now and I want to see the floor below which is called steel uh, layout. Um, I can dim the amount and I'm just going to leave that set to the default, but you can kind of make it more transparent or less transparent as you need to. And we'll go ahead and click OK. Now I can see the framing on the floor below pretty clearly. Now so far these aren't going to be used as snapping points, so I want to tell the program I want to use my reference layouts for snaps as well. So let's go back to our options menu and I'm going to set my snap points and Go to my reference layout. Well here I want to model an opening at the same exact location that it is on the floor below. So I'm going to tell the program I want to click on my beam ends on my reference layout. Now once I do that, if I go to add a beam on grid, I can click and model it exactly at the same location it was on the floor below. Once I'm done using that reference layout, I can go back to my options menu, go to reference layout, and then I could just turn it off. Now this is a great way to ensure that say your openings um, for a shaft, for example, are going to be lined up all the way up your structure. Uh, if you've modeled any columns on a floor below off grid, you may also want to click and make sure your columns are lining up all the way. So there's a lot of different uses that you can use these reference layouts for. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.